Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, the perfect place for positivity and entertainment. Oh, welcome back to my, oh, welcome back to my, oh, welcome back, oh, welcome back, oh, welcome back to my channel. Anyway, today I'm going to do a video about what brought me to Poland and what made me stay here. <laughs> I've been in Poland for a total of 10 years now in the span of 15 years because I had some breaks where I went back to the States for a year or so. But in order for you to understand why I'm here, I need to give context. And it starts as me being a child in my grandfather's church, Unity Temple of the Apostolic Faith. To me, they had the baddest church choir that ever existed. The choir was conducted by my cousin, Cynthia Stanton Fortune. She was my inspiration for being a gospel choir conductor. As a child, I would watch the VHS tapes of the choir concerts that they made, and I could sit there and watch them all day long. I loved watching how she was able to bring so many diverse voices and different musical elements together to create one big presentation that was inspiration and a blessing to so many people listening. That's what conducting is to me, and that's what introduced me into this lifestyle. Not to mention I love a good choir role, specifically her choir robe because it was the inversion of the regular choir robes, which were all navy blue with gold and hers was gold with navy blue. I always dreamed that I was gonna wear that choir robe. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it recreated one day, who knows? My mom was also in the choir and I would go to choir rehearsals with her. But in this particular videotape, I was still an infant. So you can see my mom shouting and waving her hands in the audience and I'm on her lap. <laughs> practice my conducting skills all the time. I spent countless hours in my room listening to cassette tapes and conducting full concerts with my toys as my choir. And I would conduct for my family at my mother's request. Get ready. Do it with me. A Christmas time to the whole song, okay? Here it goes. Don't clown. Come on. Think about it like you do it in church. Come on. From that moment all the way through university, I participated in choirs and conducted every chance that I had. I even co-conducted a choir with my cousin, Charles Keenan. We had a choir called Voices of Deliverance, and we were actually pretty good.
After I finished university, I moved to Arizona. Now, while living in Arizona, I was in a particularly dark place. My mother had passed away a year prior to that, and I was still trying to find my way in this world and figure out what I was supposed to do with my life. Also, I knew I had this desire to be a choir conductor since I was a child, but I hadn't really fulfilled what I believed I still had in me or the dreams that I still had in my head. So I got to a point where I was so frustrated that I decided to quit music altogether. I called my best friend and I said, listen, this is it for me. If there are no doors that are opening, I'm not gonna try to do anything for myself because I can't take the rejection anymore. So if I'm gonna be a conductor, it's going to have to happen because I can't control it anymore. And I literally gave up. I promise you, like in a week's time, I went to church and I was volunteering with the youth department and they had a special guest missionary who was coming to speak to the kids. Now he was a missionary who smuggled Bibles into Zimbabwe. That's fascinating, but that's not for me. That's not the passion that was trying to come out of me. But his special guest, her name was Maggie and she was from Poland. She said that she was a piano player for a gospel choir called Gospel Joy in the city of Poznan, Poland. They do concerts and they conduct workshops. They sing songs from Kirk Franklin Fred Hammond, Kirk Carr, Donald Lawrence. When she was given this information, my head just went blank. All I could think about was, I'm going to Poland. I even tried to tell my neighbors, listen, I'm, I'm going to Poland. Nobody was paying me any attention, but I was 100% sure I am going to Poland. So once the meeting was over, I went to go shake Maggie's hand and tell her I'm coming to Poland. And all I could do was cry for like five minutes. And I'm talking about hysterical crying. Like, <gasps> I had received so many no's and rejection and I was still grieving that this opportunity seemed like such hope and such light for me. I didn't know what to expect. All I knew was I'm going in that direction, which is to Poland. So that night I bought my ticket and I applied for my passport. Within four months, I was in Poland. Now they gave me an opportunity to teach two songs and I chose a good old Hezekiah Walker song that I knew would do the job. Now when the workshop started, I turned the corner to go into the main room and saw hundreds of people excited, talking and ready to start singing. I had never seen that. I mean, I had choir rehearsals in the States all the time and you know, we were excited to be there and sing, but I had never seen that many people that excited to participate in gospel music in another country on the other side of the world. It just did something to my mind and I knew that something was special about this. So within about the first 45 seconds of me teaching my song, I knew I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. What I didn't know was the administrators of the workshop were thinking the same thing. This is the guy we've been waiting for. And together we decided to partner and to conduct these gospel workshops all throughout the country. Now I had to go back to States to finish my master's degree. But once I finished my degree, three days later, I was on a flight back to Poland for a one year commitment. Within that one year, we did multiple gospel workshops around Poland. I produced a CD for Gospel Joy. <laughs> And I was conductor for the largest workshop in Poland history with 1,020 participants. Now, as you can see, I was doing a whole lot in Poland. 
So when my one year commitment ended and I had to return to the States, it was obvious that I experienced a depression. I went to work, I worked at a middle school and I did a really great job there. It was difficult and it was in the hood and I was like lean on me for a little bit. I was proud of the work that I did at that school. However, it just did not compare to the experiences and the opportunities that I had in Poland. So I made a decision to move back. And when I made that decision to move back, I knew that Poland was gonna be in my future for a very long time. And so now, 15 years later, 10 years living in Poland, I've been blessed to be a part of so many different projects. I've produced a second CD for Gospel Joy. I work with many choirs throughout Poland, many choirs throughout Czech Republic and produce a CD out there as well with Marinantha Gospel Choir. I started my own group and produced two CDs with them. And now I'm a professor at the Academy of Music in Wuj and I teach musical theater and gospel choir. I've been able to be on TV here, do commercials and do voiceover acting in Germany. Choose your Aldi from an exclusive fleet and have the car delivered to you at the touch of a button. Aldi in demand, your premium mobility service. It's just been crazy, the opportunities that have been afforded to me by being here in Poland. So when people ask me, why are you in Poland? For me, I ask, why not Poland? I've received so many opportunities being here, it's hard for me to think about what I would be doing anywhere else. I just wanna encourage you all, don't give up on your dreams. No matter how dark it seems, no matter how frustrated you get, and no matter how many no's you receive, your opportunity could be just around the corner. All those no's that I received prepared me to say yes to Poland. Even when it didn't make sense to anybody else around me, it didn't matter because I knew what was happening inside of me and what this opportunity meant. Now, I don't know what the future holds for me, but I'm still going onwards and upwards. And I'm happy that you all will be on this journey with me. So if you have any comments or any questions or any suggestions about future videos, please comment down below and let's start a dialogue and see how we can take this journey further. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that notification button if you want to be notified of future videos that I'll post. Also, please follow me on all social media platforms at Brian Fitchers Official. That's all. I hope to see you soon. Peace.